Welcome to Your Cyber Path, the podcast that helps you get your dream cybersecurity job by sharing the secrets of experienced hiring managers and top cybersecurity professionals with you. Now, on to the show. When we talk about internships, there's really two main types of internships to okay. find, right? There's paid and unpaid. And mm. there is a difference between the two, right? There are lots of companies that would love to have you on as an unpaid intern because it doesn't cost them anything and, and therefore they're getting free labor. Well, I, I will say it does cost them something anyway. Yeah. Every person we bring on board costs us something, whether I'm paying a salary or not. I still have software tools I have to give you. I still have time I have to give you. I still have equipment yep. I have to give you, uh, office space I have to give you, all those kind of things. Um, but if I get somebody who's free labor for three months as an intern, um, that's a lot easier for me to say yes to than somebody saying, hey, I have zero experience. I just graduated college. I want you to pay me $70,000 a year and teach me everything I need to know. Uh, no, I, I don't want to do that, right? Um, and that, I think, brings us to point number two, which is there's just not as many internship programs as we need because they cost time. They cost money all the yeah. things, right? Yeah. Uh, even when they're unpaid. Um, and so, yeah, we can move into, into point two here, which is, you know, there aren't as many internships as we need. And and why is that, Kip? Uh, why do you there's not as many internships as we need? I, I, think you just, I think you just did a very nice job of, of explaining what some of the issues are for the decision maker. Uh, you know, it's about money. <laughs> it, well, a lot of it is about money, but it's also about time. And it's about, uh, you know, getting to know somebody, investing in them, knowing that they can walk away at any moment and you will not be able to benefit directly from everything that you've done to help them. So, um, I, but I'll say that to the extent that there are internships in the private sector, I believe it's because there's somebody uh, who is in a executive sponsorship position. That is to say, they have the authority and the resources that they can commit to this internship program. And, and these people are usually uh, uh, more, more of a people-oriented person, which is to say, they, they sort of take a different view, which is um, anybody I hire isn't going to stay with me forever. It doesn't matter if they're an expert, top shelf you know, skills, or if they're an internship or an inter entry-level person. I'm probably not going to retain everybody I hire, and they're all going to come and go at different times. And so, um, and so, as a result, they're not quite as fixated on the fact that you know, oh, Kip just walked out the door. Damn it! I just lost. You know, quick, get the adding machine. This is how much I lost. They're, they're not. They're, they don't quite have that mind now. Especially if they're in a big organization, they have a ton of resources. Um, then they can afford to, to. They can better afford to have that attitude. Guys like you and me, we're running small companies. We don't have that much, uh, you know, margin. Uh, we don't have that many resources. We have to be way more careful. But if you're like T-Mobile here in the Seattle area where I live, uh, T-Mobile has a very, very structured uh, internship program. They actually have an agreement with the University of Washington, and the, the UW uh, uh, graduates and uh, and like the, you know the juniors and seniors in their programs. Uh, Many of them get offered internships with T-Mobile. Some of them, uh, you know, convert to employees or not. But I know that T-Mobile is very concerned about having a talent pipeline. And they understand that a talent pipeline costs money and that they're not going to retain everybody that goes into that pipeline. But they're focused on the pipeline and they can afford it. And so, um, so that's, I think, why they do it. And that's why a lot of companies don't do it because they just want to get butts in seats. They're not thinking about a life cycle for talent. So I, I think that's a big difference. Yeah, I, I think you're absolutely right. Um, and I will say that, you know, you mentioned that, you know, a lot of times you won't see small businesses or medium-sized businesses doing internships because of the cost. 